Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you another simple, easy job. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Cake. And today I'm going to show you another money-saving maintenance job that you can do yourself, and that is the oil change on Honda Goldwing 1800. You saw me do the spark plugs, which was an easy job. Very easy job. That was a one, one and a half. I'll give the oil change a two because of the oil. <laughs> so anyway, you saw me do the spark plugs. I was supposed to do my rear brakes. However, when I checked the brakes again before I changed them, they were already done. Thanks to my amazing husband, Rich. He went on and did my, my rear brakes for me, but I love doing my own maintenance on my bike. Could y'all please, please tell him to leave JetBlue alone. I could do my own maintenance on my bike. Now, before I get started, I'm gonna show you what we need to get the job done. Fairly easy. The oil, of course, I use synthetic oil on my bike because it lasts longer on it. I don't have to change the oil as often. We have a funnel that I'm gonna use. Of course, you need the oil filter and the crush washer. You change them every time you change your oil on your bike. You have a ratchet. And here I have three different types of tools to get the oil filter off, okay? I like, the one that I like the best is this one right here. It just hook on and take it off. The other ones are two, these work like pliers. You just put it on there, you squeeze, you turn, and you take it off. And then the other one, you slip over it and you take it off with that. So, and I have some gloves. So, Let's get the job started. All right, let's get started. I already have JetBlue on the jack stand already. The next thing I'm gonna do is start it up, get the oil warmed up a little bit so it can flow easy. Okay, my bike is all warmed up. The next thing I'm gonna do is remove this side panel right here. There it is, comes off pretty easy. Down on the side, I'm check the oil, it's kind of dirty here, so yes, I'm sure I need a oil change. So I check it, and yes, it, it needs to be changed, it's at a normal level, so I didn't lose any. So I'm gonna put this back on here, but I'm gonna leave it loose a little bit so that the oil can easily flow once I remove the drain plug and the oil filter on the other side. All right, now I've moved to underneath the bike. The first thing I'm gonna do is unscrew the drain plug right here. Here's the oil filter right here. This is the oil drain plug right here, which I'm gonna take off in a second. If I can hold the camera and do it at the same time, I will. But let me before I do that, let me get my bucket closed because it's behind me. Okay, I'm about to take the oil plug off. I like this oil removal because it has this is for the filter and they use these two little ones whichever size you need to take the oil plug out the drain plug okay i think i got it yep i can move it with my hand put this bucket over because it's gonna come shooting out so that's why we give this job a two And there you have it. So this is gonna take a minute to drain out, so I'll be back on camera when we're done with it. All right, now that that has drained from the oil plug drain, I'm gonna loosen up the filter. See if I can. Okay. coming out already. 
You just take it and take the rest of it off. Take it off with your hands. If they fall in the bucket, oh well, you're throwing it away anyway. There it is. Look at that oil from the filter. So I'm gonna come back after this finished draining and then we'll plug everything up and we'll be good to go. All right, now that we have the oil filter out and is pretty much drained out, I'm gonna put the plug, the oil plug back in. But first I'm gonna put a little oil around here on the crush washer and the bolt and put it back in there. I just put a little bit on my hand and rub it on there. Get it on there nice and nice and good right there. And I'm gonna put the plug back in. Gotta wipe that excess oil off it. Put the plug back in. Hand tight it first. And once I hand tight it, I'll use a 17 millimeter the wrench it, that I used to take it off with put it back on you want to make sure you put this tighten this up before you feel it because if you feel it and that's not tight the oil gonna come right back out so I put it on there tighten it then I give it one more quarter turn and that should do it Ooh. That slipped off of that. Wasn't quite on. Let me give it another. There it is. There. And it's tight. Now I'm going to prep the oil filter. Here's the oil filter. I'm just going to pour some, fill, some oil in here. Fill it up. Do it one time. Once the bubbles go down. I won't put any more in there, but I'll take some of the oil that's here and put it on the o-ring i checked the o-ring everything is fine on this filter it's going to lose a little bit of the oil because the filter is sideways in here so we're going to put this back in just tighten it on there with your hand first And then whatever tool you're using to put your oil filter on and take it off, use that same tool to tighten it up with. Okay, that's hand tight. Wipe that oil off so I can use my tool to tighten it up. So I'm using my rag. Now I'm gonna get the wrench. Put it on there and turn it, tighten it a little more. All right, that's that. I'm gonna go on the other side over here and start putting the oil in. Now I'm about to fill the, the bike back up with oil. I used the Honda HP4S oil, synthetic oil. Honda recommends four quarts. So I'm gonna start with three and a half quarts. I'm gonna start the bike up, check the oil level, and then keep going from there. That's one quart. There's two quarts. This oil is a 10W30. That's about half. So that's three and a half in there. Now I'm gonna check the oil level in here. Don't check it. Okay, I need a little more oil in that, so I'm going to go ahead on and put the other half in. There we 
You can use the oil of your choice. I choose synthetic. Check the oil level now. It is full. And screw this back on. Start my bike and I'm gonna let it run for five, five to ten minutes, and then I'll recheck it after it's settled down. But you want that oil to filter through, through the filter, before you put anything else, any more oil in it if needed. Now that I let the bike run for five, five to ten minutes, I check the oil level, I check for oil leaks. Now I'm, I'm gonna go and run it for five miles, come back let the bike settle and cool off, check the level again, and check for leaks again, and then that's it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A money-saving oil change you can do yourself on your Honda Goldwing. Don't forget, tell Rich to leave my bike along. I'm Kate with Boots and Jeans Riders, and I'm out. Peace.